Here in the grounds of Tsukube University near Tokyo, Professor Hiroshi Ezuro is growing a new type of tomato. From here to there are tomatoes with high levels of gaba. And these ones here are normal tomatoes that we're using for experiments. And as you can see, they look exactly the same. GABA, or gamma amino butyric acid, occurs naturally in fruit and is said to be good for high blood pressure and sleeplessness. Unlike genetically modified foods, these tomatoes do not contain outside genetic material. Instead, they've been made using a genome editing technique. Using molecular scissors, Japanese scientists removed a strand of DNA containing GABA and reintroduced it in another part of the same tomato, a process that increases the overall quantity of the acid. These tomatoes, the first of their kind, went on sale online in September for 20 euros a kilo. That's twice the price of ordinary tomatoes. Since we have used a new technique, and because we have just started, we don't have large quantities yet. That's why the price is a bit high. But in Japan, vegetables are expensive, and the price of tomatoes is only a bit higher than of upmarket tomatoes. Last May, 4,000 volunteers received free genome-edited tomato plants. They include Mieko Oyama, who's already picked thousands of the tomatoes she grew in her small garden near Tokyo. My family and friends tell me that these tomatoes are good and that they feel better after they've eaten them. I'm sure they will spread to the rest of the country. Oyama records her health data every day. Almost one in three people in Japan suffer from high blood pressure, a problem that health experts partly attribute to the high salt content in some foods. And now I'm adding the tomatoes. Today, Oyama is having lunch with her sister, who's also been converted to genome-edited tomatoes. Their lunch is made entirely of vegetables from her garden. Bon appétit. The tomato flavour is very strong. We can taste the acidity and the sweetness. Genome editing and genetically modified products are not the same. As long as you understand the difference, there's nothing to worry about. Japanese authorities clearly distinguish between genome-edited and GMO products. But producers of the former are not required to state that their food is genome-edited on the packaging. This has led to mistrust among some consumers. All of the food on sale at this market is organic and grown locally. <laughs> Here, no one seems to be interested in eating genome-edited tomatoes. We shouldn't trust politicians or scientists when they say these foods are safe. Some people believe eating them may lead to developing new allergies. I'm not convinced when we're told that they're safe. A recent survey of 40,000 Japanese people found that almost half would not eat genome-edited produce. I buy groceries without thinking, and it scares me to hear that products I don't want to consume are going to be sold in supermarkets. We don't know the risks, and we don't know when they will reach the supermarkets. How many Japanese have bought these tomatoes? Tsukuba University professor Ezura does not want to say. He says it's a trade secret. Here's the laboratory where we grow genome-edited sprouts. Please come in. Scientists here are now working on new projects that will make use of the versatility of genome editing technology. It's possible to imagine tomatoes that are more resistant to the heat and the cold, more or less acidic, sweeter or richer in vitamins. The risk is the same as in the case of natural crossbreeding occurring in normal tomatoes. And when you eat these, do you have health problems? Well, it's the same thing. These tomatoes will soon appear on supermarket shelves in Japan. 
and could even be exported. The sale of GMOs for human consumption is banned in the EU, but the European Commission is now reconsidering rules on genome editing.